Hi, this is my compile button project. Uh, if any of you have done any firmware, you know that you hit the compile program debug button about a hundred times a day. So this project is going to try to make that a little more interesting, maybe even simpler. What you need is a Teensy, Teensy board version 2.0, an emergency button, got this one off of eBay, a mini USB cable for the Teensy board, and a pair of number 26 gauge uh, stranded wire. Uh, first thing we need to do is modify this emergency button. Um, it's the type that when you engage it or when you press the button, it locks. And then the way you release it is to spin you know, spin the knob here. So what we need is we need it to be momentary. So we'll, we'll modify this guy. The way they do this is that there's, a, there's two pins, spring-loaded pins, that pop out and hold the button in place. So we're going to remove those and remove those pins. Okay. Here's the the switch. It's a normally closed switch. Something to think about for when we're writing firmware. Now, you don't want to take the switch off when this is engaged. Uh, it will make it easier to get at the pins, the, the spring-loaded locking pins. So there's, the, there's the switch by itself. Okay. Here's the, uh, the the main red button, spring loaded. And we want to take this center center gray piece out. And it's right here. These two these two pins right here. They come off. You can see the you can see the little spring maybe. Alright. Alright, we're going to put everything back together. True test is if you can remember how to put it back together. Once you get the switch back together again, close it up and just make sure that it, it works as, uh, as you intend it to. That'll be fine. So it's in this volume that we're going to store the Teensy. You can see that on either side we're going to cut a hole here so that the USB cable can come out of it. And we're going to connect this pair of wires to the Teensy board. We're going to connect it on ground and B0. Ground and B0 there. and. It'll then go here between connection point one and connection point two. It's got a little screw here that lets you tie down the wire, just like that. Okay, when you got it all finished, you can see it fits quite nicely in this volume. You got the TNC board there. 
Got the green and black wire connected to ground and B0. On the other side, it's going to each side of the switch. And uh, looks like it fits pretty well. Then you close it up. And you probably want to, here's the hole, you probably want to add some stress relief there. Maybe a grommet with uh, something on the inside to keep it from being yanked. It's probably a good idea. And uh, you might want to try testing it too before you close it all up. And the nice thing about this project is that once you get it complete, you can uh, continue to program the, the TNC board from inside this enclosure so you don't need to open it up every time. And uh, when it's finished, when I press this button, it'll, uh, it'll send the, uh, the control B, I think, is the, the macro for uh, Code Composer Studio to, to build. And uh, that's it for now.